Well, we've been talking about the showers and thunderstorms expected tonight, and certainly the Bay Area has seen a lot of wild weather this year, starting with a series of atmospheric rivers in the winter. But according to local scientists, the future is about to get even more intense. Our Mary Lee has more on how the Bay Area's microclimates could change by the end of the year. From storms to heat waves, Berkeley Lab scientists predict weather events could become more extreme in the future. Once in a century, storms could happen more than once in a lifetime. They say intense weather could hit certain parts of the Bay Area much harder than others. Climate scientist Daniel Feldman is taking us inside. Great. All right. Thanks. Great. Yeah, thank you. Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Daniel and his team use the incredible processing power of these supercomputers to forecast the climate of the future. We're going to see、uh, events that we've never seen before. What we're seeing here on the left. Their predictions the came from taking global climate models, which provide broad, big picture forecasts with a large range from 30 to 400 miles, and downscale them to just around three miles for a higher resolution. They also added input parameters like hydrology, vegetation, and our Bay Area topography to forecast down to area zip codes. We need to have all of those details、um, to plan out what does. Climate change actually mean for us at the local level, and it's really、uh, so important since Bay Area we have so many microclimates and kind of extremes of what can happen from the coast up into the mountains too. So it's great to have that. Yeah, absolutely, and and so、uh, so planning for climate change in San Francisco、um, means you know warmer weather maybe means. Getting an air conditioner for the first time. Berkeley Lab scientists predict by the end of this century, heat waves in San Francisco could get four degrees warmer than the end of the last century. San Jose could get six degrees warmer. In Livermore and in Santa Rosa, heat waves could get eight degrees hotter. And by the end of this century, temperatures in Oakland could skyrocket, getting nine degrees hotter than the end of the 1990s. Powerful atmospheric rivers could hit higher elevations like the Santa Cruz Mountains and North Bay Mountains even harder. The Russian River will likely see more flooding. In Livermore, major storms could pack a punch with about 70 percent more precipitation than the last century. San Jose could see about 14 percent more rain, while places like San Francisco would actually see a 10 percent decrease in rain, and Oakland could see about 19 percent less rain than the last century. Bay Area viewers can expect. That a number of the very extreme weather patterns, some of the the big rivers that we atmospheric rivers that we've been seeing、um, over this past winter、um, and over the past few years, that、um, that those are going to get supercharged. For Daniel, his work is his passion. He's a true atmospheric scientist, devoting his career to studying, understanding, and ultimately protecting our planet. We are, as、uh, scientists, really、um, just scratching the surface of、uh, the complexity of the Earth system.、Um, it's also a beautiful place, and that motivates me to study it every day and every night, and pretty much all the time. Berkeley Lab scientists say, in between intense storms, we could expect to see long, dry stretches, resulting in devastating drought for the region. Scientists at Scripps Institution of Oceanography partnered with Berkeley Lab. Their research was funded by the Department of Defense. And Department of Energy.